My name is Bill Wade, and I'm Tom Portogallo. And uh, when we moved down here from Massachusetts, uh, we started looking for churches. And I saw an ad for uh, I Own a Hope in a local newspaper, and I said, well, I'll try it out. And uh, I came down here uh, for a Sunday service and fell in love with the place. I mean, it, it, everybody was so welcoming and uh, thoughtful, and uh, I couldn't wait to get home to tell Tom. So I said to Tom, when I got back, to Cape Coral, you're going to love this place. Uh, and uh, we showed up the next Sunday and was surrounded by loads of friends. And, uh, and we've been here ever since. Uh, we love the, uh, the service here. I feel terrible when I miss it. And uh, so, uh, Another thing I like about the church, besides its being very welcoming, is uh, the opportunities for involvement. There are loads of things, and uh, I chose Altar Guild and, uh, and uh, Office Angel, so you might hear me answer the phone one day. And uh, the place, I've been, we've been here so long now uh, that uh, the parishioners become friends, and then the, the friends are like family to us. And uh, I, I truly love the spirit here and the caring, and they certainly live generous. Two, three. I'd like to share uh, our summer uh, with you, a part of it. Uh, I was up in the New England and New York visiting family and friends, and. Bill decided to uh, visit his uh, family in South Carolina. Uh, and I got a call on a Sunday morning from his brother uh, advising me that uh, Bill had a heart attack and was in the hospital. So 13 hours later, I was in uh, Myrtle Beach and praying for that whole ride. And while I was praying, I knew Jesus was there with me. Uh, I could I could just feel I felt comfort uh, during the trip while uh, I called Father Ray when I got the information about what was going on with Bill and he uh, found a church nearby that was similar to ours and a priest came over and they gave communion to Bill a few times and then he had visitors uh, from the parish visit while he was in the area. I wanted to thank Father Ray. Uh, he's a comfort to me, and I just wanted to share that. I'm not sure I ever said thank you. Uh, I wanted to thank Pat, uh, who put out the information to the parish about what was going on, and many of our friends up north who were able to read this information uh, felt, wow, what a wonderful place you go to. And some of them who visit in the winter definitely want to stop by uh, to meet Pat and to uh, attend some services here. I feel I have a safe home here with uh, the homilies from Father Ray and Su uh, Mother Susie. Um, it's, uh, again, a comfort to spend Sunday here. I also volunteer at the thrift shop and uh, stop by if you haven't been there. Uh, we have a great shop and lots of things to buy. And I'd like to just uh, say that uh, we live generously uh, in Iana Hope. Thank you. One last thing I'd like to uh, let people know is that uh, I was very sick <laughs> in South Carolina and I didn't think I would make it back here. And I'm, I think the reason I did was the prayers and well wishes of friends and our family here at Iona Hope. Thank you.